since these tiny ESP8266 ESP01 Wi-Fi module is quite popular. Generally, we use it to provide Wi-Fi communication for any microcontroller as Arduino Uno board. But these modules can be used as independent microcontroller board with Wi-Fi facility and with fewer GPIOs. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to use these ESP01 modules. So let's do this. Very first, go to your PC and search for ESP8266 GitHub on the web browser. Then open the installation page of GitHub as shown. Then copy the board's URL from the page. Then open the Arduino IDE, then open preferences and in the additional board's URL paste the URL followed by a comma. Then open the board's manager and then search for ESP and install the board's as I have already installed so I am gonna skip this. Then after that installation is complete you gonna see your ESP boards will appear in the board section of Arduino IDE. Since ESP cannot fit on the breadboard so I made a adapter for it so we can use the ESP on the breadboard. Since we need a USB to TTL converter for this. The two most common USB to TTL converters are shown. You can use any of these and I am gonna use the blue one I have. So put it on breadboard too. The pin diagram of ESP is shown. Then take out few jumper wires and take out the ESP from the adapter socket. Then connect wires to every pin of the adapter of ESP except the reset pin. Now put the ESP back in the adapter socket. So you can see the connections to program the ESP and I placed FTDI on the other rail of breadboard with reference to that we will connect everything. So let's start with connecting VCC and CHPD of the ESP to 3.3 volt and then connect ground and GPIO 0 of ESP to ground of FTDI. Then TX of the ESP to the RX of the FTDI and RX of the ESP to TX of the FTDI and leave GPIO02 wire unconnected on the breadboard. Then take out the FTDI from other rail and put it in the same rail along with the wires on the breadboard. Take a electrolytic capacitor from 100 microfarad to 1000 microfarad and then place it between the 3.3 volt and ground of the ESP. And our circuit is done. Now let's connect the cable and program the ESP. Now open Arduino ID, go to examples, then ESP8266. Then open the Blinks example. Then select the board as generic ESP8266 board. And select COM port and upload the code to the ESP. Then it will compile the code, then start uploading with percentage of code being uploaded on the ESP. And during uploading of the code, the blue LED on the ESP will flash very quickly. And when uploading is done, blue LED will stop flashing. And you will get a message in the ID done uploading. Now remove the GPIO 0 wire from the ground and put it aside on the breadboard. Then take a LED and put it in between GPIO 2 and ground. And if you did everything correct so far, you will see your LED flashing as mine. Since setting up the programming circuit on the breadboard is not a good idea, so I made a PCB for that. I recommended not to go with breadboard method. Most of the time it fails due to loose connection on the PCB. We will connect the ESP and FTDI programmer on the PCB. Then we will push the button to turn the ESP into programming mode and upload the code to the ESP and during upload 
we will notice the flashing of blue LED very quickly. After uploading, release the switch and you gonna see your LED flashing. But wait, this is still not the best method to upload the code in ESP01. Let's take a look to the best one. I found these USB to serial adopters for ESP01 online and these are the best in my knowledge. We only need to do a modification and it is I solder two male pin headers on GPIO 0 and ground and a female pin header set to short GPIO 0 and ground to make the ESP go in programming mode and remove the short jumper to run it in normal mode. So let's test this module. So let's attach a USB cable to it and upload the code to it and this time we gonna program the GPIO 0 pin. So I am uploading the blink sketch for GPIO 0 to ESP and during upload you gonna see the blue LED flashing and when it is done then we need to remove the jumper which is shorting the GPIO 0 and ground and I'm gonna attach a LED between the GPIO 0 and ground pin as you can see our LED glows. So guys, if you wanna program ESP01, then definitely prefer this USB to CL converter for the ESP and the link is always as in description. So guys, that's all for the today. Hit like button, give me a share and don't forget to subscribe and I will be right back with more awesome videos. Till then, like, share and learn. See you in the next video.